Another characteristic of digitalization is the phenomena of timeless time by Professor Manuel Castells. Uh, Professor Castells is the fourth most cited social science scholar and the most cited communication scholar in the world. He's one of my personal mentors. He was the supervisor of my, of my second PhD thesis. And Professor Castells wrote three very important books at Triology, which usually is referred to as the Network Society Triology, uh, where he explained the information age in terms of a network logic. It's a, a thousand pages in these three books, which are very profound and have uh, have, have, have had a far-reaching effect in us understanding actually how what the information age is all about. And this concept of timeless time comes from his triology. And what he says literally is that timeless time refers to the social practice that aims at negating sequence to install ourselves in perennial simultaneity and simultaneous ubiquity. Now, these are almost philosophical, sociological uh, terms, which are sometimes difficult to wrap your mind around, but they have very profound implications. Uh, it, to say it basically in, in some more uh, common words is what Professor Castell tells us, that digital networks enable us to negate sequence by processing information in a synchronous and or in an asynchronous manner. So digital networks allow you to have a real-time communication with somebody, be it through a video conferencing, through a chat, or something down that direction, and or also to asynchronously process information. For example, you have a post on a social media site. You just post it, and then at 3 o'clock in the morning, somebody else works with it, or in a collaborative document. And sometimes this can even be years later that somebody picks up an idea of yours. You know, on the social media side, sometimes you get this notification that somebody just liked a picture of yours that you uploaded like three years ago, and you think, what are they doing with their free time? Well, this is asynchronous information processing. Somebody just got interested in something you posted a long time ago. And this has many benefits which you take advantage of right now. For example, I have no idea what time it is right now. You might be with your PJs in bed watching this lecture at 3 a.m. So there is no need for you to show up at 8 a.m. dressed in the lecture hall anymore. You can asynchronously process this information that I provide to you through this video recording. As you can imagine, there's a myriad of possibilities how you can combine synchronous and asynchronous ways of processing information. This is made possible because digital technology merged information storage technologies and real-time communication technologies. And that allows us to negate sequence. We're not slave to it anymore. And we can live in a timeless time. So that's the basic idea behind that.